And here we go, part three, folks. Let me go ahead and get this started. Diaka going over top. You see an intense uh, under battle. So you're seeing two on two. It's not even one on one anymore, okay? So they know with this LB that if they control under, because, you know, whoever controls under basically controls the world. You have, like, you know, there's no you, there's no fog settings on you. You just kind of see all because you have an escape route. You kind of can, can go under to flank. And so you're seeing Cyrus and Major Crisis over the top of Major Crisis and uh, trying to go under. Here we go, Major Crisis trying to advance under. You see uh, IDK over top, Evil trying to go over, trying to snipe. You see Melanoma falling suit shade over top, trying to get zone control. Major Crisis doing what he can, does not succeed. D Sin. See, that's what happens. If he go and fail, you know. Oh, there we go. Burns a warp, so unveils his position, his trump card, and that's detrimental because Mickey no longer has a portal or, or at least that you know at least Dia Diaka in this couple seconds knows that he has a couple seconds in the sense that Diaka will not or not or Mickey won't have a portal which means he can be more aggressive and try to go for the finishing blow you know because eventually they're gonna you know green a portal and that's just gonna uh, you know, throw everything off so you have maybe like a wonder you know I don't know five minute window of opportunity before something happens if not less Melanoma trying to no control major crisis realizes so major crisis doing a good job trying to fight under he knows Melanoma uh, is, uh, or whatever, how Mela is uh, trying to zone control under. Here we go. Diaka staying over top. Evil staying over top. Squall getting picked off right there. And IDK trying to go over top. Here we go. Major Crisis making another advance. It's like, it's like Storm of the. Oh, here we go. Normandy Storm and, and D Sin holds it off. Says, I'm rewriting history because. You know what? I don't care. I'm better. I'm better than you at that particular point. So whatever goes, you know. So it's like trying to find the rule book. Unless you're, unless you're, you know, you can, you can take control of the pen. It does not matter. Okay, evil trying to go over. Suicides with IDK. There we go. Uh, Mela and uh, Machine timing it, and Mela uh, Machine trying to go. You know, pressure drop. Here we go. And Tidiaka doing a good job, just trying to strain and, and trying to um, bullet and when he can. Six mode being aggressive. Let's see what Signal can. Six mode trying to no. Swallow of fate says no. Access is not granted, Siggy. Not this time. Pressure drop, dying to Shade. And Shade doing a good job trying to control over. Shade needs to come up big right here. Shade needs to not die. Let's follow Shade. Let's follow Shade's uh, track. Shade goes over top. Goes over top. Try to time it. Oh, well, I'm trying. No, here he goes. I know. Just kind of zone control right now. Sees an opportunity to go over. So still alive. So here he goes. So Shade has not died yet. Shade has not died yet. And while well, while well, Spiky, I need Spiky right here. Spiky. Oh, trying to trying to make something and no unveil. No cigar, no bueno, no bueno. Take some test Spanish or use Google Translator if you don't know what that means. No bueno. So here we go. Intense game, a lot of action, a lot of action. Just testing this new style, see if you guys liked it. Where instead of trying to like make stories and you know humor you guys, bring you some more action, but time some stuff. Let me know how it goes. Okay, just trying to see what you guys like and definitely appreciate the help. You know, definitely want to give a shout out. So before this game ends, before the juicy stuff comes up, as the comeback's coming, want to give a few shout outs too. Let me pull up. I wrote it down actually, just because a lot of you have been contacting. Shout outs to um, children, okay? Children actually, yeah, Jab Children. He actually has a YouTube channel, 17,000 subscribers. He does a lot of uh, acting and stuff. So shout out to him and for helping out with some stuff. And Styles for like organizing everything. And uh, Moncaria for, again, advertising on her channel. She has about 800 subscribers for Sims. So if you're a big Sims fan, then you know. Uh, check our channel out and, and other other guys there's other guys in the works i'm talking to right now i don't want to just you know give you a shout out yet unless you know the, the i guess the deal has been inked so until then uh for my next cast and maybe perhaps so definitely if you kind of help out and whatnot in some good way then uh definitely it's uh, up to me to kind of you know up to uh, represent your name so i'll, I'll shout you shout cast you guys out in a video of mine in the future so just keep uh, keep up with the good support thank you guys for all the support never knew that i would have more than like one subscriber <laughs> Seriously, yeah. I'm just doing this just because I want to practice for MC because I MC like live events for like hip hop events and Christmas events and weddings and whatnot. That's like some of my side stuff. So this is just a way for me to keep entertained as a lot of action and hopefully you guys kind of, kind of like like whatever uh, make out. Spread the word. Please subscribe. I know there's a lot of people that don't subscribe. It will really uh, kind of mean a lot for uh, for those of you to subscribe just because it shows that people actually care. Because I know uh, you guys watch videos because my channel so there's a lot of <laughs> thousands of views and only like 40 subscribers and that doesn't really make any sense. And I, and I don't really refresh. I'm, I'm not the guy that refreshes my channel 5,000 times per second because <laughs> I don't really care. You know, I have other things to do. Um, but anyhow, here we go. Back to the match. It's, it's about to end. It's about to end. It's about to end. And here we go. Mickey's trying to push up. I need I need aggressive play from you, Mickey's. I need to go up. He's trying to break the cramps. You know, this is where 
what you know both sides have great spiders both uh, you know solid spiders that know what they're doing so you know they're not going to give away the cram that easily in the late game when kind of you know right now stage at the 12 11, uh, Pandora at the 11 slowly, slowly creeping up yeah so evil here we go and right now for stats pad we're seeing shade at 105 leading the pack so there we go shade over time 105 spiky here we go not far behind at 91 evil at 95 decent at 94 good job on the under with major crisis at 64 so i know the ma the unders don't get recognized that often and people you know that's like dirty work it's like robert worries rick foxes you know that type people don't get recognized for that type of stuff you know so yeah, I'm, I'm gonna recognize you guys so i'm gonna call you guys out or highlight some of the under under battles more so than the top because i want to see under you know, under is a skill because you don't have space to work with and when you don't have space to work with just kind of like fighting under the belt for a jab match when you don't have time the time's not on your side and you're about to get timed out then it takes skill because like, who has the bigger balls you know, who, who has the bigger guts who's going to stay and fight to the end so who's going to so fight the under match and win it and over will come naturally so under will always produce over over will not always take under so you know it's common sense but here we go for the, you guys for new newbies or for those listening for the first time for this cast okay so idk trying to do spiky trying to do what he can idk uh skips ahead cyrus there we go mickey's trying to see the opportunity and here we go it's going to be a classic uh, you know race to the finish terrier versus terrier balls out you know everything you know everything's going oh mickey's dodging it oh pressure drop with the last minute rep to slow everything down Diaka almost with the last second, you know, clutch burst, and that's what I like to see from Diaka. Time burst, I like to see, you know, for people that have practiced the burst. I don't want to see random bursts. Just because you burst in a crucial situation doesn't mean I'm going to give you props on it. In fact, I probably won't. I will do the opposite. So I want to see time bursts. I want to see skill levels. I want to see what they're doing in pub nowadays. You know, with the like the the win streak. So I think that kind of brings me back to, to, to the 1999 and 2000 when. People try to do that on their own. Try to get the best win streaks. Try to, you know, when uh, the most points mattered. So I, I like seeing I like seeing that competitive side for trench wars. It's great for a revival and see if some of you can do it. And if you guys can, or if you guys think you can, get on your biggest res, PM me in game, give you a message in game saying you're gonna break that um, pub record with the highest amount, and I will record it and I will cast it in my next cast. I will just feature it in a uh, a pub uh, play of the year. Okay, pub play of the year, PP of the year is the challenge okay so if you know you're about to break the record pp of the year challenge let me know i will record you only get one shot or i will never record you again or listen to anything you have to say because i don't got time to you know, listen to people who can't produce i need producers i need the producers for this movement and i need people who can step and do one shot so go out and practice pp of the year let me know if you're the first to do it you will be engraved in my videos forever and, and i will move on to the next challenge okay so if you want to have a challenge be engraved in my videos i will now highlight you in my top favorited so people will see Go PP of the year, let me know. Okay, so I know what everyone's going for right now. Especially, yeah, I'm trying to do it, but everyone's doing it. And, and uh, I'm trying, I'm going to do it in 1920 res next time. See if I can, you know, go go for like, I don't know, 25. So if you can break 25, let me know. Uh, here we go. Um, and back to the game. Here we go. Pandora trying to hold back. You know, this is the last 30 seconds, and I'm going to cast it. And here we go. Mickey's trying to go in. And Major Crisis, you cannot be camping, Major. I know you're a great under, under specialist, but you cannot be camping. Camping does not apply to when you're trying to break the cram with only 30 seconds left to go. And Mickey's trying to go up top. Mickey's last night. Oh! Mickey's does not succeed, but some of the spiders do. And here we go. Shade trying to do what he can. MVP Spider Shade trading off does not. Cannot carry, but Evil picking off, trying to pick up Cyrus. And Diaka Evil eventually picks up Cyrus. And that was the game finisher. That was the game ender. Hallelujah. Game over. Good game. Have a seat. And that's how it's done, people. That's how it's done, son. And there we go, Pandora just wrapping up the last few seconds. Diaka, great job, leading the most epic comeback ever. That was one of the most craziest comebacks ever. You saw it; they were down six to one, and I, when I, you know, I gave him the light, light was granted, and Diaka, you know, sent out his troops, and there we go. <laughs> so, Coach Fire Fire here with another TWBD broadcast. Okay, so if you like what you see, please subscribe. And until then, oh, also PP Play of the Year. Let me know in game if you got the balls to do it in one shot. And I, I will engrave you 20, a minimum 25 kills in one shot, okay? So until then, fire, fire out.